Welcome to Bad Idea Metals. I'm Anthony, and today we're gonna figure out what's in these. They look like hockey pucks to me. They're much thinner, but they look like hockey pucks. But there's a friend of the channel named Mike, and he has given me these to see how much gold is in them. If you look closely, you can see that there's actual ridges. I'm hoping that it's actually the thickness of the gold plating, but realistically, it could easily be that this, this brown base design is actually raised and that the gold electroplating has been applied to the top of those, uh, whatever you want to call them, planes for lack of a better word. But uh, they're pretty heavy. We're gonna give it a quick weight and then we're gonna see how much gold is in them. So 5.7 ounce or 162 grams. So we're gonna see, I guess it dropped down to 160. So we're gonna see how much gold is on these. What we're gonna have to do is uh, remove the solder mask on this because uh, it, it appears that the solder mask does indeed have some gold plating underneath. Some areas the gold plating has uh, somehow worn down and I'm, I'm concerned that the brown is actually what's showing through here. But I might be wrong. I am definitely hopeful that that is actually gold uh, in, in great quantity, but we'll see what we end up with. Let's go ahead and uh, remove that solder mask. I've got about 20 ounces of water. I don't have that in milliliters, but uh, that's where we're gonna start. The little brown spot at the bottom of the, of the, the glass here, that's a sticker that's been burned over time. So don't worry, this is pretty clean. Uh, I say that relatively. Um, but uh, that brown spot, that's just the sticker on the outside of the container. We're gonna add some 100% uh, lye. I'm gonna stir that in. And a little bit more. We wanna concentrate this solution a little bit. I don't have an exact ratio for the estimate that I put in. So we're gonna let this run and uh, let the warm water heat up and let the lye get absorbed into solution. Okay, so now it's time to add our two little discs. We're gonna stir this occasionally because the bottom disc is flat against the glass and it's not going to get uh, as much liquid movement. So I could put something down on the bottom to help prop it up, but we'll just flip it over halfway through. All right, so let's check our progress. That is re that's really, uh, really nice to see. Man, I love this lie bath trick. Now, my gloves are starting to transfer onto this. Uh, it's not a big deal, it'll all be fine in the end, but that's uh, a little frustrating that my gloves are getting old. Anyway, take a look at how easy that is. I'm not even putting any pressure whatsoever. Now, holding this with my gloved fingers, I can feel the heat of the copper plate inside cooking my fingers. So, just know that a good sturdy set of tweezers might help as you're doing this. Um, it looks like this side does need a little bit more time. However, um, you get the point. It does come off really nice and easy. Turn off the heat to our, to our lye bath and rinse these off. Okay, so now that we've got our two medallions, what we're gonna do, we're going to uh, Grab our favorite little containers of choice. Move our lye bath over. I'm gonna drop these two guys in. Let's go ahead and uh, add some hydrochloric or some muriatic acid. We just barely wanna cover these a little bit. No exact amount. We're gonna to try to create some copper chloride that will uh, eat away 
the layer that's holding the gold panels down. Give it a little bit extra there. Okay. Now, this step is gonna take a while. It typically takes over a week. This method will work all by itself eventually. Um, it was explained to me, and uh, I am grateful for my, my viewers and subscribers because I do listen to your comments. Um, my copper chloride isn't as effective if there isn't an oxidation, meaning if the oxygen isn't entering into the equation here. So for this chemistry to work, to make copper chloride, we, we use oxygen and you can either use hydrogen peroxide. However, that's a, that's a resource that you have to buy. Here, we can just add a bubbler. A lot of people like to use their little fish tank bubblers. We'll uh, go ahead and add our tube. I'm not gonna seal this, but I'd like to close it up some because I don't want anything to drop in it. So there's that. Let's go ahead and activate our, our bubbles. Okay, so it's been sitting in here for over a week. Um, I don't see very many foils in here. So this might be a very minimal return, but this is definitely still interesting to me to see what we have. So let's go ahead and clean this up and filter the foils. Uh, you can see some of them have glued themselves to the to the top of the or to the side of the, the container. But uh, let's go ahead and get this, this sorted and uh, see how much gold we have. Okay. So the barrel's empty, set that off to the side. Our little coupon pucks, they have a little bit of gold still on them. That stuff is cemented on pretty nice. I don't want to use a toothbrush because then I'd have to put the toothbrush through the aqua regia. But uh, maybe I'll just go shake it violently in some, some clean water see if how how much more I can get to come off but uh, I'd say it's pretty clear and it's flat it's got no relief whatsoever anywhere so we're gonna keep those off to the side we'll save those right there and you can see that we have a lot of water a lot of liquid but hardly any foils my guess based off of how many foils I see in the bottom here, we're gonna end up with less than a quarter gram. This is really not a whole lot. Uh, the foils always look more than you'll end up. By the time you have it uh, reduced in the aqua regia and then re-cemented out, um, this really isn't a whole lot of material. So, um, it's still it's still there though. There's still stuff in this in this filter, so. We'll go ahead and process this, but uh, we're gonna process it in a really small amount of aqua regia, and uh, we'll continue after that. Go ahead and filter this and rinse it a little bit. Now hot aqua regia is gonna eat my filter, so I gotta be fast. I'm gonna have to do this again.
I'd say that's probably good enough. Let that continue to filter through. So that's not a whole lot of liquid, which is fine. Oh, there's something on the inside. I don't want that there. Let's try to fish that out real quick. It looks like it's a bug. Small bug has gotten in here. There we go. It's not gonna refine very well. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop some sodium metabisulfite in there. I've got it in a jar. Probably won't need a whole lot. That's all I'm gonna put in for now. Give this a little mix. And we'll see how much drops out. It could be that we need more, and so be it. There really isn't a whole lot of gold to drop out. And uh, it'll show up as a really fine dusting on the bottom. But this, this could take a little bit of time. So there. I'll come back. Okay. Well, it's nighttime out here now. And you can see that there's just ever so slight a dusting in here. There's like right there. You can see it on that transition line. Ah, neighbor's barking. But uh, you can kind of see where it's a little cloudy up on the up on the edge there. You can kind of see when I put it over the top of that green thing, or maybe over the top of this. You can see, you can see there's that dark cloud at the bottom. It's just not a whole lot. I'm not even gonna try to condense that out. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, collect this somehow. Probably put it through a funnel and catch it on a on a filter paper and keep it for the next time I have a lot. And uh, we'll add it to that. I'm gonna call this a trace. This isn't even gonna be half or even a quarter gram, so. Um, it's there, it just isn't much. So, well, thanks for watching this. Um, it's actually pretty cool what, what we had. I hate to say it, but it's actually cooler with the gold on it then off um but it was worth it was worth the experiment to to see what was on there um and uh these guys they're not fully rinsed quite yet but uh yeah that's pretty fun stuff so some other things that i got going on back here i've got some some fingers processing i've got uh, motherboard i've got ram and i've got video card and just other fingers. You can see them in the in the copper chloride right there. As it's making copper chloride, the hydrochloric is ripping that out. Fun stuff. All right. Well, I got another video coming here soon. So, thanks for watching. Tune in for the next video. I'll see ya.